welcome to Rock News Interviews. Uh, I've been away for a while, but I'm back. It's uh, JB Rocks, myself, obviously, I'll tell you that. Um, I've got some absolutely cracking music to... I'm, I'm not talking about it, you, obviously. No, absolutely. No, no. <laughs> Wait, when solo project. <laughs> the future to show you, but for now, we're going to have to do with the uh, this band called This House We Built. A um, bunch of kids just starting off, um, you know, usual thing, posh kids, got some instruments, you know, 10 they know yeah, life, and grey beards. About right, it, lads? How's it going, mate? You're well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Apart from everything going wrong in here. Right. Uh, in all seriousness, uh, these guys, first time I've spoken to you, um, been really looking forward to it. So, you, you, you're a new band, joking apart. You are new, re relatively. Uh, your album came out, what, in October? Um, Self-titled. That's the one, yeah. Now, I, I don't want to... Right, I'm going to completely avoid the usual pigeonholing because that can instantly make people go, oh, I'm not sure about this. Your album yeah. has got no two songs the same. Cool. And that's brilliant. You know what I mean? It's like there's a lot of different input into that. I presume that the, all of you aren't into exactly the same music or anything like that. But yeah, everybody's different, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. From your into your sort of old old school metal, all that. Um, Oz, our drummer, he's into his emo, uh, that kind of stuff. Offspring. He sort of grew up listening to that kind of stuff. I'll, I'm kind of King's X, Alice in Chains, Ty Keto, Little Angels. And Andy's, yeah, like Bon Jovi and all that kind of yeah. stuff as well, isn't he? So, yeah, yeah a bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, you can tell an absolute mile off that everyone's had, had input in it. Um, I'm, I mean, I, I write things down because I forget otherwise, because, you know, I'm past 40 and <laughs> I enjoy my life too much. But, um, <laughs> the, yeah. To, right, just going to, these little bullet notes I've put under various songs, so I've got so fair weather of uh, you know funk rock, which I think I think there's a good description. It's got a real nice kind of funky. It's really really good. And going down, I've got you know uh, <laughs> walk the line. I love love walk the line. And and please take this as um, the compliment as it's meant. Because when I wrote this, I thought this was complimentary. But you, you, you can. <laughs> I put um, <laughs> shameless, shameless air guitar inducing riff tastic cock rock. <laughs> that's it. That's the bad yeah. boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I love it. That I love that song. Then you got like back in the ring, which is just kind of almost traditional kind of hard rock, which is really nice. But then you go on to stuff like old horns, which is basically a, a piano ballad. I mean, there is every every different, you know, and none of it's kind of cliched or anything like that. It's just yeah. Absolutely brilliant. So I don't want to sit there. I've read, you know, I've read what other people have to say, and um, I think the worst thing anyone could do about your album is say it's reminiscent of these people, it's reminiscent of this era, because yeah. you would have to list a million different eras and so many different people. And uh, yeah, it was just wonderful. It was a debut album. I love it. So if you kind of give us insight into how you guys got together, how. I mean, you must be very, very accomplished musicians because it's so tight. It's set, it's got that full stadium ready feel to it. And it really has. It's got huge, you know, you could definitely fill a big space with your sound. So how did it come about? Yeah, perhaps in that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you go first, mate. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> it was all lockdown, really. If it wasn't for lockdown, we wouldn't be doing it now. So it was the first lockdown. Um, Scott phoned me up. Nothing to do, really, wasn't it? Yeah, well, we we're all like you know, all in gigging bands, yeah. weren't we? And then obviously, you know that it, that kind of hit raised its ugly head to COVID, and we've all kind of known each other in different gigging bands for for years and years. And then when it when it hit, um, I think we were at a gig pre COVID, and uh, we we're, we're kind of all sat sat around saying it'd be cool to bang our heads together maybe, write a few tunes at some point, and then we're almost 
forced forced into that because of COVID. So we we kind of um, yeah, just just give each other a call. Do you fancy writing a few tunes? Because there's not all else to do. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, that's how it began really. And we started banging a few ideas around and in Garage Band and one thing and another and sending sending them to each other via WhatsApp and stuff. And that's how it kind of got going, wasn't it? Absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying it was a great thing, but you know, every it, cloud, every cloud. So, what's um, yeah. what's the plan going forwards? I mean, you've got a, you've you've got a very very good album. Um, it obviously yeah. it needs to be out there more, which is exactly why we're here. Mm. Um, you you've been touring with oh, excuse me, ignorance. There's a guy, isn't it? Danny, Danny, yeah, Danny Vaughan. Yeah, Thank you. sorry, terrible. You're wrong there. You're all right. Yeah, we uh, yeah we did. Uh, we were looking enough. Um, we sent Danny a the first track. We sent him the first track. Um, I've been a big fan of Taiketo for many years, and um, yeah, he's, we sent him the video for the first one. And I just said, look, buddy, you know, been a good good fan of yours for years and years. Seen you seen you perform a lot. Um, we've got this new band going. Uh, would love to hear your comments on on our music and. Uh, he wrote something really nice on on Facebook, which obviously then drags a lot of his fans to see us, and we got some really nice compliments from that. And then, uh, yeah, and then it kind of snowballed, and one thing and another. I went to see him at a private show, and we we'd got the album mastered that week, so I smashed it on a dongle, uh, one of those USB sticks, yeah. and I thought I'd be cheeky. And at the end of the gig, it was like, "How are you doing, mate? You all right? Um, here's that band, the uh, you know this house we built. You give us a really." positive you know positive review on the first thing the album's ready um would you mind giving it a listen and see what you think and and yeah he got back two or three weeks um after that and said fuck this is a good album and it was like really uh, yeah yeah I and i think image misses had have been sort of smashing it up to 11 in the front room and and, uh, and both enjoying it so that was great and he's you know melissa and danny have been a real help ever since then, haven't they? It was funny when we were performing, wasn't it? And he was telling the story because <laughs> he said he, he had this this CD waiting on the side. And he was thinking, "I get thousands of these. I don't really want to. I don't really want to open this." <laughs> so anyway, he said he did open it, and he was thinking, <laughs> "Fucking hell, what I'm going to say to him? Nice artwork." And he's telling his story when he, when we're playing, and he's going telling everybody, and he's thinking, "Oh, fucking hell! Right, I'm going to have to put this on." And he said, I put it on and he went, fucking hell. First song, second song, fucking hell. Third song, fucking hell. Must not have been our album that no, one. No, it wasn't. Well, yeah. 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 Then you realise yeah. you forgot to blank the... the uh... yeah. <laughs> he, said, he said he got to the end and he went, Melissa, come on, listen to this. Is it me or is it just... And the way he was telling the story to everybody, it was like really humbling for us, sat yeah. back fucking stage. And we're like, is he talking about us or is somebody else? <laughs> Do you know what? It, it, I can't think of a nicer way as well to be brought into the that kind of a, arrangement. Than yeah, being uh, admired by someone who you admire. So you know, like, say you've gone to sing him live. It's say you don't only get to see someone who you love listening to for free. Yeah, but you then get to play. Yeah, you get yeah. to play before. I mean, that's a win-win, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I remember being. 17, 18 years old, singing Taiketo, top of my voice, having a shower with my mum brain roof. Shut up, you tie it down, you know. So like all these years on, um, it's it's yeah, it's been amazing. Yeah, it's did, been a good journey. We yeah. did three songs at the end with him, didn't we? As well, came back on yeah. and we did three songs with him at the end. Yeah, which was nice. Yeah, so that was good. There's a few uh, videos on YouTube and whatever you've. Um... I've been yeah yeah. I, I saw a really nice video, and I think you you. It's you, you guys in a garage. It looks like you're in a garage anyway. Yeah. And if you've got Love friends that. or family or something next to you. Oh, yeah. That's right, yeah. All struggling yeah, that's guitars really now. I, I thought that, <laughs> that was really nice to see because I haven't, I, I, I'm ashamed to say, I'm interviewing a band I haven't seen live myself, um, which is, you know, annoying, but I will, definitely. How many, yeah. how many people have um, done? No, we haven't really done a lot, if, if we're honest. Um, came out of COVID, you know, did, did the album. Uh, crazy doing the album as well because we'd obviously normally you'll go out and you 
think 20 years ago when I last did an album, you kind of practiced them all, you gigged all the songs, uh, you changed them as you were gigging because you you kind of, yeah, this, this time around it was a case of mm. doing it all in the studio, one at a time, sometimes with COVID, um, then going in two of us with masks on and sitting at opposite ends of the room in the studio. So it was really, really crazy, but it forced us into a, a different situation of recording, which, which, to be fair, worked. You know, it gave us a bit of breathing space. And well, we're doing the same now, really, aren't we? This yeah, is what we're working on now. Still, you you wear a mask, but it's, <laughs> it's a, a gimp mask. <laughs> but anyway, that's another story. <laughs> So what's so, what's it, what's going to happen going forwards? I mean, I know that's a really big open question. I mean, there's no way you've made music put that much into it, uh, the videos, everything else, unless this is the plan. If that makes sense, you know what I mean. It, that that's it. Yeah. Um, so have you have you got anything coming up, or or at the moment you're just putting the feeders out a bit, or what what's happening? Mm. We we did a first gig, didn't we? For was it Raz down in Blackpool, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. And I think Raz sort of like, yeah, I've heard of these guys. I'll give them a bit of a punt, and then we we, we came off. We first done, and then we came off. And he just went fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and everybody was like, fuck me. Just forty five minutes, but it was really, you know, same again. Very humbling when you're coming off, and people that's in the business, been in the business years, going fuck me, that was brilliant. I mean, it's, um, the songs themselves. Uh, it's not, I mean, going back, I'm going back down notes because I I can't tell you the names of the songs on my. Neither can we. No, we can't either. <laughs> I, I really yeah. can't. So yeah, you, you can. So I, I have to look look back at the notes. But um, I mean, old haunts sounds like a song of utter regret, and I love it. It's, mm. it's a really nice, calming, calming sound. I mean, is there a lot of that sort of thing on here? Uh, you know, because it doesn't sound that, that again. I was sort of joking at the beginning that you know you, you, these kids that make up these you know emotions and talk about how hard life is, and and you can mm. tell the difference when somebody has been through a bit more of life, like yourselves and myself. Yeah, um, it yeah. shines through in in the lyrics. Uh, it really, really does. It's uh, yeah, just quality. But I don't yeah. know if there's anything particular that any any of you guys had, had really kind of put out there on those songs that, that you know or but it's just sort of generic feelings i think every, every song that's really written has a meaning yeah you know like the, the one that andy wrote about his arthritis and him you know uh my old friend my yeah, old yeah. friend that's about his his pain that he's going through all the time and when you actually listen to the lyrics and really really you know what he's been through what he's going through and everything else that's interesting I, I, yeah I, my notes on my old friend is uh a, Simply a great rock song you can dance to. But now you've told me that, I won't want it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If you, if you listen, <laughs> I'll feel guilty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, then, then just take some more tranquilizers before it, and you know you'll be in the same sort of zone as him. I've got a meaning, and I mean the. Yeah, I mean, old haunts was written and sang uh, by our drummer Oz, and he's he's suffered and he's he's very open about it. He's suffered mental health problems and what have you and you know there's a lot of people out there and and that was it was almost a goodbye note was that and he's he's, he's honest with that he's um obviously thank fuck it didn't get to something like that but it was almost when you read the lyrics that you know he's down on his ass and uh, it's very re it's very relatable to being in situations yeah. Like, I mean, like I say, I literally wrote regret next to it because it's like almost like a letter of regret to people around you. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's how I, you know, everyone interprets things differently, don't they? It's Absolutely, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's I mean, we've all got you know, in a demons we all have, you know. I, I, yeah. I'll be honest, I, I love a drink, uh, you know, at the moment I'm tr trying to sort of cut that back and, you know, like we all do, but yeah, it's, yeah. and especially in the rock. Rock and roll world, you you know, you forever it feels chugging on. And it's around you all the time. Absolutely. I, have to yeah. say, I don't think I've done an interview before where I am actually drinking a beer. It's just been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I just thought, well, fuck it, have a beer. Totally. Uh, yeah, yeah. But um, but yeah, no, it's it's uh, the album itself. So you've done the two, you've got two singles, haven't you, that you've done the videos for and everything and it's sort of released and so on. Um, yeah. I guess it's just a matter of people like 
rock news who love rock music that's why we do what we do and you know it is literally for the love of um yeah we we need to you know do our best to make sure people hear you because like i say i you know you are new um and i i very like you're saying you know uh, about other people's experiences i you know i put put it on and the, i did the one thing you should never do and i read reviews and they're very favorable they're all very favorable reviews don't get me wrong i'm really lucky yeah you have some great reviews it's thank not you. luck it's not really it isn't but when i was reading it going back to the pigeonhole and i was seeing I, I kind of almost expected a very generic sound if that makes sense mm. And yeah, I yeah. was trying to work out, and I, and I really was. I was, I was. I was on the way back from my my actual real job, and uh, on the on the way home today, and I had a few guys on in the car, and I thought, I don't think there are two songs on that album where if I played them both to somebody, they'll go, "That's the same band," and and I, and I really there, there isn't a, like a, a standalone sound, and I, and I love that. Genuinely Sam, love it. Yes, something for everyone you know um yeah yeah so are you gonna are you carrying on writing or is the plan at the moment just to kind of get this album out there and plug it well, we've got we've got all sorts in bag haven't we it's yeah you're in the studio we're in the studio again on two weeks time oh, yeah. <laughs> two weeks time mm. uh, i am fluent in mug so yeah that's good yeah 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 and i am a mug so there you go <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we've got uh, we've got that in two weeks' time. Um, then what, what else we got? Yeah, I mean we've got basically. I, I think where we're where we're trying to go with everything is we've got the album. It, it's been we've done it ourselves. Uh, obviously, we've tried to pump what we can into it. Mm. And then this year, uh, we've got about seven or eight festivals that we're playing. Okay. Uh, Give us a shout. Which ones? If you, yeah, man. Yeah, ones you can remember. Yeah, we've got Crawfest, Call of the Wild. Um, what else have we got? Scotland. Yeah, we're playing up Scotland. Um, what else? Great Yarmouth. Great Yarmouth. Uh, Hard Rock Hell. Great Yarmouth. That's on. That's in November, I think. Um, what else? Putting us on spot now. You see, we should have had it Sorry. all. Sorry about there, that. but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, look, yeah. This, this is what you need. You need like you can't even see it. No, no I can't. No, what an invisible okay. pad. You need, you, you, need, you need some really awfully written words to remind you of exactly what you need to say. And believe it or not, this is me being organised, and I'm still rumbling shut. So, but but you've so you you've got low. You, if you know what I'm getting yeah, at, is got... people are going to people when they are reading these reviews about you and they're seeing your videos and everything. It's easy for them yeah. to access, you know, where you're going to be playing. Yeah, I'll, I'll run down. I've, I've got it now. Yeah, I've got Call of the Wild uh, in Lincoln. Um, we've got uh, Wildfire Festival, Walnock Head in Scotland, uh, Crawfest, that's in uh, Yorkshire. And we've got, what else have we got? Uh, yeah, we've got, um, yeah, and I can't see any more because my computer's playing up. But yeah, they're all on our website, thishousewebuild.com. Um, so you can you can yeah, catch us on. Cool. And um, uh, what's the one in Lincoln? And the reason I ask that is that's twenty minutes away from me. Sound mate, yeah, Call of the Wild. That's in May. I'm just going to write it down as if this isn't being recorded. I don't know what's wrong with me. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, listen, I don't I don't want to you know keep keep you up too long because it's obviously nearly bedtime. <laughs> in the rock and roll lifestyle that we all try and live. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. Um, Peak of the week, Wednesday. Well, yeah, it's, it's, technically it's Wednesday weekend, isn't it? It is, yeah. Peak, peak of the week, that's what we call it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Wednesday. <laughs> so, really nice to meet you guys. I hope to meet you in person, and I'm certainly definitely going to see you live. Um, I'll be the idiot jumping about. We'll actually have rock news written on his top, which I haven't today for some reason, but I will want to go to a gig <laughs> just in the hope that someone knows who I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, no, but, but listen, thanks a lot, guys. And if you've got anything else coming up, any releases, anything like that, give us a shout. Because we'd love to hear them. And, and, and you know. really are shoot for the next single, aren't we, Matt? Yeah, yeah, Matt. We're doing a, the new video, so we've got we've got a um, 
we're bringing a, another single out sort of April time. Um, so we've got plenty of festivals. If there's any any companies out there, well, record companies, we still haven't got a deal. Um, we're hoping we've got another sort of 12, 15 songs written. Um, we're hoping to get get those kind of down soon as well. But it's it's all, you know, we could really do with some kind of <laughs> yeah. some kind of situation <laughs> where we can put vinyl out and things like that. So it's all off our own asses at the moment. So. Uh, so yeah, obviously you can only grow it as fast as you can. Um, so yeah, I think it's one of those. I think you've done that. I mean, you've done the the really hard ground, haven't you? Mm. It's 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 two things: a bit of luck, being from yeah. the right people at the right time, yeah, and um, just keep plugging at it, don't you? You know, uh, there's no yeah. way talent cream always rises, doesn't it? It always does, and and there's no yeah, way you guys with, with the music you're making isn't going to get out there it's just not possible you know um so, like, it will be i'm sure <laughs> next time the next the next time i want to speak to you, you'll be going i'm not talking to you anymore do you know what i mean we, we, <laughs> yeah, we, so we, we, no 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 we'll right. be having a pint with you <laughs> yeah yeah but, no, honestly yeah uh, great to speak to you uh, it's nice to see real talent um homegrown talent's a pleasure and we will speak again Definitely. Thank you. Man. Thank you very much. No, no, thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers. Take it easy. All the best. Yeah, you too, mate. You too. Thank you very much. Thank right, you. that's all from Rock News interviews for now. Uh, I will be back in your face quite soon um, with some other fantastic bands. But look these guys up. If you, if it's the only thing you bother doing over the next week or so, look them up. Stick them on the car. They are fantastic. And if you regret that advice. Please message me and I'll ignore it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Rock news. Take care. Turn it up. Bye. Cheers, buddy. Bye bye. Yeah.